morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are watching from. Hello, hello, and it's Swoop there here. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to Planet Zoo. This is the third episode of my Franchise Zoo series. Um, you'll already notice if you have watched the previous two episodes that I have popped in some garden. Whoops. Um, so you can see here... I still haven't done the entrance I'm thinking we might do the entrance building today um, but I have done an exit sign and a little exit um, I guess you'd call that a garden bed and then there's a see you later alligator sign just there and I've popped in some of the new uh, statues that you can win from doing uh, the career mode um, I've finished all the career modes up to gold so I have all the statues which I'm pleased about they're really cool I just thought this was a nice little way to sort of have people walk out of the zoo at the moment a lot of people are walking in there but that's okay um, they'll start to walk in both these ways as well once we have some habitats over this side I've popped in um, a little sign on the diamondback terrapin house I've popped one there and I've also just copied it over so that it's on this side as well um, you can see here that I've put in a little garden and a little pond. I've put in an education sign. I just grabbed this off Google. Um, I've been playing around with some of the new screens that we got in the recent update and I am in love with them. So I've popped this in and I guess, you know, if kids are walking along here. They can read about this with their parents and try and spot a little frog in the pond here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've also filled this with a garden and added in some mulch. I've popped in a staff only sign here so that only the staff head on down that way and if we head along to the doll habitat I've actually changed out their signs to um, some different uh, fact sheets that I also found on Google so I've got one there and I just copied them over down to here as well. I have embedded uh, the proper education boards behind a couple of them because otherwise the guests don't recognize them as education as far as I'm aware so they will still come and look at this and it will look like they're reading this but in fact they are looking at the in-game education board that's behind it so um, today I'm thinking we're going to have a go at putting together the entrance before we do that I wonder if we just do a little bit of maintenance here and look to um, see if we have any animals that need selling so if we have a look at our animals okay we've got heaps and heaps and heaps of doll now uh, these two are currently on contraceptives I'm going to take them off contraceptives and then I'm going to sell these doll and I'm also going to sell I'm going to sell a whole bunch of the puppies that we've had I'm going to release them to the wild yep and then oh hello I'll release those to the wild and then let's see if we've got oh whoa 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 okay we need to sort some things out here um elderly well that's not good why are they elderly at two years old okay they don't live for very long those ones all right that's okay we will uh sell why are they so upset? Ew. Okay, so they're upset because there's too many of them in there. They're upset because their habitat is not clean. Don't tell me we've got a protester. Oh my lord. Alright, let's quickly call a keeper. I think the reason that it is so dirty is because we really don't have enough keepers. So let's grab another one. Just pop them right there. We need to start setting up some work zones as well. All right, here it comes. So let's sell a bunch of our scorpions. I want to leave the ones that are still a decent age. I wouldn't mind keeping the gold star ones, actually. Let's keep that gold one. Let's keep that one. I'm just going to pop them on contraceptives to remind me not to sell them. Whoa, whoa there's a bunch that are actually pregnant. All right, do you know what? I'm just going to get rid of all the ones that aren't pregnant because the chances of them having only one type, only one sex of scorpion is very, very small. So let's send all of them to the trade center. <coughs> oh, my voice is broken today. Um, let's see. Exhibit trading. 
select all Ooh, six grand yeah see that's what I'm talking about hello perfect all right so they're happy now let's call the keeper for them and then you should be happy can you go home go home leaving zoo good thank you so much all right let's just pause it for a second because um all right we're going to keep those three females i wonder if we can get a male leaf insect that's not elderly what are they called giant malaysian leaf insect here we go all right, let's get a hold of that one at 0.4 years old. Send to the zoo, we'll pop it in there. And then we are going to sell all the rest. Sorry, guys. You'll be going now. And you, send to Trade Center. Move to Trade Center, exhibit trading. And let's sell all of those guys. All right, so I think I'm close to getting rid of these, to be honest. Um, Let's see if, I think we've still only got one female in here, we do. So we need to get another, another female terrapin. Let's see if we can find one diamondback terrapin. A male we need, male, male. Let's get him and pop him in there and then hopefully they'll have some babies. All right. Just double check that everyone else is happy. Looks like it. we need to keep our eye on these scorpions here because they're all about to give birth. We've got the dolls in there. They're all happy. All right. Great. So we've sorted everything out. Okay. I am going to jump into a speed build now of the entrance building and I will be right back when that's done. See you soon. Bye.
Well, hello, hello, we're back. That was a much longer speed build than I intended, so apologies for that. I did have to make a couple of cuts because it was just too long and I was faffing around too much. So I hope that's all right with you guys. Um, you can see here I've left a space for the zoo name. If anyone would like to name the zoo, pop uh, a name that you like down in the comments. Uh, this zoo is supposed to be in the UK, um, so it's a temperate zoo. Um, I guess you keep that in mind when you're thinking of a name, otherwise I'm happy to name it. I've popped in a couple of signs, one here and I also put one around on this side. It says as wild as life gets. I kind of like them. They are the lit ones though, so I think I might actually change them eventually to the, the non-lit ones because they look a bit too bright for the area. I'm sure they look good at night though. Um, I moved our other little exhibit species over the back here because, um, oh let's just slow that down a little bit. I wanted to move it away from the front of the zoo here. I popped in these gardens at the front and I've put a sunken garden in here. I actually, this is something I haven't done before is put like this um, the stone wall ruin pieces onto a building like this. I actually really like the effect it's got. Um, I'm just going to bring that one out a tiny bit. Perfect. I really like the effect on that. And then I've still got this exit here. Most people are exiting out this way, which makes me happy. And then we've got some of these um, information centers in here where people, oh, lots of people seem to be lining up now, which is good. All right, and I also added in a toilet, which is just in here. I think um, off camera I'll probably go in and fix up sort of the gardens around the back of the entrance building here. And I'll pop in like a little exit um, pergola over the edge of this. I might sort of do like a slanted one, I think. I think that would look quite nice. And then for the next episode, I am absolutely going to put in a new animal. And the new animal, I'm thinking we're going to put about here. But I'm also wondering if we go for like a bit of a canine theme and start putting in like the African wild dog and the dingo and things and sort of starting popping them down over in this area here. So let me know if you have any opinions on that. And um, I think that's about it for this episode it's been quite long because the speed build was so long so i'll be really happy to see you in the next episode i hope you enjoyed this one thank you so much for clicking into my channel um, please give me a like if you enjoyed the video it really helps me grow the channel other than that thank you so much guys for being here take care of yourselves and see you in the next one bye